four steps to overcome sin. I'm just going to talk to you as if I was talking to you face to face, in person, heart to heart. There are a lot of people out there in the church. When I say in the church, I mean those who go to church, those who cl claim to be Christians. There are a lot of people out there who resign themselves to sin. They say, well, we all sin, and we're all going to sin until we die and go to heaven. That's not true. If you believe like that, what you are actually doing is you are putting more faith in your death than you are in Jesus' death. Yeah, you are saying that your death sets you free from sin, not Jesus' death. I highly recommend you don't do that, because that's not true. We want the truth here. I think the truth will set you free. We mentioned it earlier that the law of God is easy. It really is easy. It's easy to obey. A little child can do it. A baby can do it. It doesn't take much. There's no excuse. However, sin can be very brutal. What is sin first? Uh, 1 John 3, 4. Sin is the transgression of God's law. So if you transgress the law, if you violate the law, if you break the law of God, you sin. And when you sin, you open the door up for evil forces in your life. They, when, you, when you sin, these evil forces can gain legal rights to your life. We see this in Genesis chapter 4, verse 7, says this. God is speaking to Cain here. It says, God said, if you do well, will you not be accepted? Now, notice, God did not say to Cain, if you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, will you not be accepted? He didn't say that. He didn't say, if you bring your sacrifice, will you not be accepted? He said, if you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. So look, this is speaking of sin as if sin is a personality. So this is speaking in, in, in the context of sin being an actual spiritual entity. A demon, an evil, evil force. Sin lies at the door, like an animal. And its desire, see, it's not just, sin is not just an action. It's not just a concept. It's, it's, it's a personality. It's, it's a creature that actually has desire. It's a spiritual entity, as they would call in the, in the New Testament, a demon. Its desire is for you. It lusts after you, basically. But you should rule over it. It is possible to rule over sin. God said to Cain, you should rule over it. He did not say, well, you're just a human, and you know, we all sin, and well, you're just going to have to wait until you die and go to heaven. No. It, let's not subscribe to such defeatism. Let's not just subscribe to such weak faith and weak doctrine. Pathetic. God said, if you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. I think of it like a lion, you know, seeking whom it may devour. Its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. If you do not do well, sin lies at the door. So in other words, see this. 
when you sin, then the personality of sin, which could mean an evil spirit or many evil spirits, comes to your door, lies at the door, and it lusts after you. It wants you. It wants to eat you alive. It wants you. But you should rule over it. First thing is you need to do, this is step one, fear not. Fear not, make the decision to dominate it. Step one, make the decision to dominate sin. Be of good courage. Overcome it. Take the bull by the horns, as they used to say. You need to make that decision. It's not based on feeling. Feeling will come later. You decide now. You decide now. I decide to take authority and control over this sin. It's a decision that I am not going to change my mind. I'm not going to be double-hearted, double-minded on this. I am going to pursue. This is a, a final decision. I'm going to take courage. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be, be afraid of just taking control of this sin. Go into the door. Oh, just go into the door. Sin's crouching at the door and just take control of it. Just get a hold of it. And you got to make that decision. I am going to take the bull by the horns and I am going to, to overcome this. In the book of Revelation, we, we read so many times over and over again how important it is to overcome. To him who overcomes, I will give you this treasure. To him who overcomes, I will give you this blessing. To him who overcomes, I will do this for you. I will put you in this place. Revelation chapters 2 and 3 speaks about it many times. Overcome what? Overcome sin. Step number one is to decide to take control over it. You got to make that decision. You got to make that decision.